will slap my booty and call me Susie. Today is, haven't seen my friends since November 4th day and we're gonna practice for the first time ever as Carcosa. Holy shit, coming in hot, I'm going fuck you. Some of the restrictions of BC have been lifted a bit so we can actually get together now. Um, I haven't seen really any of the boys at all since uh, the music video was shot for Devoid. I saw Travis in between them because I had him recording drums for the Angel Maker record, but besides that, I haven't seen anybody else since. Right now, I'm driving to Andrew's place in Surrey, which is about a 45 minute drive away from my house in Vancouver. Um, I haven't made this drive in a really long time. I used to go there probably twice a week to do videos with him, but since restrictions have been a thing, we've just been working remotely. This is gonna be a good time. I'm going to Andrew's place early because we have some meetings with um, the people we are doing our live stream with, just to smooth out some details with that. And then we have a meeting with um, our homie Brad, just to talk about uh, some social media stuff, most likely in marketing uh, moving forward. So just a little bit of preface on what's happening today is for practice anyways, is we'll be going to Travis's jam spot, which is out in Langley, which is even further away. And it's a fairly remote spot apparently. He told us that there's no bathroom or running water so that if we have to shit, we have to do it before, which is super cool. I feel like today we'll be mostly tinkering. We're probably gonna try our best to figure out our backtrack situation because it's definitely not smooth, we'll say. Um, the way that we run it is pretty janky and old school. Like it's the exact same way we did it in uh, in Galactic Pegasus. And when we're actually at Travis's place, I'll uh, explain what's going on because it's kind of stupid. But basically we don't actually split uh, the back tracks and what goes into Travis's ears in a, a proper sense, I would say. It's pretty janky. Um, it's basically two separate mono sends. One's going to front of house and one's going to Travis and it sounds pretty fucked and it's super shitty to edit. It's not really like fun to make necessarily because you have like a click track blasting in one ear and then you have the back tracks in the other. So it's pretty hard to like try and mix properly, but that's how it goes. So yeah, just on the way to Andrew's place and uh, when I get there, maybe I'll bother him and we'll uh, see what's going on. Well, I just got to Bana's house and wow, look at, look how big it is. Wow, dude, YouTube money, dude. Wow, it's fucking crazy, dude. Um, uh, is it already filming? Oh, hello. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, dude, that looks great. <laughs> uh, we're on our way to our first band practice as Carcosa. Yeah, so we have yeah. not played in the same room together since over a year ago now. The last time we ever played was the final Galaxy Pegasus show. Obviously, you know, same band members. Uh, that was February... February... 15th? No. What? 20th? Our last show? No, yeah. dude, our last show was like... Uh, Mar... No, it was, it was February. February 24th. Okay, so not that far from what I said. Dude, you're super Acting well. like I said month yeah no february 24th was the last gp show and then like what was it like two months later we the... announced carcosa no oh it was like <laughs> dude your way shit later. is all off right now i don't know anything <laughs> we when we played our final show as gp we already knew within the band that we were you know obviously going to be starting carcosa uh, nobody else knew that at the time so you know we did our final show as gp and it was kind of funny to us like a little inside joke almost amongst ourselves whenever anyone at that show was like oh so what are you gonna do next and you know we couldn't or we, we didn't want to give away the surprise yet so we just kept being like you know just keep an eye out like we'll be announcing something hopefully soon and uh, yeah that ended up being Carcosa I think we we did our first announcement in June uh, you know a few days before we released a play which was you know middle of June like June 15th or something like that um, but yeah, we've never actually practiced or played any of this material. Obviously, you know, when we shoot our music videos, we're just miming everything. So we've never, we've literally never played any of this music before. 
and there's a 50-50 chance that tonight we uh, still won't play it because we're going to be fucking with our backtracks. A yeah, bit. it's true. Like I was saying in the, the first thing I filmed earlier today. Oh, uh, you are talking shit earlier? I didn't yeah, know. I was talking bad shit. Today is going to be mostly figuring out what the fuck is going on <laughs> with our backtracks. The backtracks is really like the main focal thing that will keep us... Uh, moving along smoothly is making sure those run good yeah. and then after that it will be actually playing the songs yeah. because obviously our drummer needs to be able to hear the click track properly and we need to make sure our system still works the way it used to yeah. and uh, I'm still going to show everybody what our system is when we get <laughs> it's pretty funny it's pretty janky it used to be surprisingly it used to be worse yeah if you, somehow somehow it was like we used to run all of the tracks off of my iPod Classic, <laughs> and uh, there was one time we played a show in Calgary, and it was the first time we tried using the laptop, oh, and yeah. the laptop had crashed, yeah. and the session was just fucked. So I had my iPod Classic as a backup, but it was like in my bag behind the fucking stage. I'd go <laughs> back and get it, and I was like, the show already wasn't really going very well, so yeah. I was pretty pissed. And I like grabbed it and like didn't really think or anything and just like plugged it in and like said, Here you go, like fucking let's play, right? Oh, God. <clears throat> and I didn't realize, and clearly nobody else in the audience did either, but like the tracks that were playing were the actual <laughs> straight up <laughs> audio tracks from like the album. Yeah. So like we're Travis just playing over We were just playing over ourselves. So, like, the song, one didn't have click, yeah. so it was just Travis, like, guessing. Jesus and then uh, the audience was hearing us play the song. Over top of the song. Over top of the song. That was yeah. also probably mono split. Probably. Because we had a mono splitter that would usually send one track to front of house and the other to Travis. Yeah, we're professional so, bands, you know. We're fucked, man. That was crazy that that happened. That show was bad. So many things but, went wrong that show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a few things went wrong that show. I'm not going to mention all of them. I don't know if it was to do with me, that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, it was you and Travis both. Nope. Just Travis. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this practice spot we haven't been to yet either. Yeah. This is where Travis, this is where he practices all the time. Mm -hmm. And we don't really have a full gauge of, like, the size of the room. Mm -hmm. I feel as though it's going to, it's probably, like, a decent-sized room. Well, there's, like, there's three, three drummers, drummers in there. So there's going to be three full drum kits, plus... You know, each one has probably, like, a fucking collection of 20 snares for some reason. Yeah. I shouldn't say that. I have, like, 20 guitars. Yeah, so you, no you, can't, you can't say, what well, the fuck is going right on right now? Yeah. You know, like, Travis collects, obviously, a lot of drums. He's a collector. So we know he has at least two kits in that room. Yeah. And then Plus, I don't even yeah, know. I think he literally has, like, 15 snares or something. Yeah. And I think today's... What the fuck is, is going, going on today? I don't want to come here anymore. All right, so we just got pulled over. <laughs> We're both going to jail. Surrey's crazy, man. A bunch of crazy shit going on here. Welcome to my neighborhood. I haven't been over here in a very long time. I haven't been outside the confines of my house in six months. Yeah, so. this is the second time we're seeing each other since November. Yeah. Uh, the first time being a week ago. A week ago. Not even, like, five days ago. Which was already kind of, like, something that happened on a whim anyways. Yeah. It's pretty fucking crazy, man. Like It's shitty. I haven't I seen... Mean, it's good now, but it was shitty. You know, restrictions are, like, are loosening up a little bit, but they're still pretty strict in British Columbia. So yeah. the way we're doing it is pretty, like, we're trying to be as safe as, as possible. But we have to practice for this live stream that we're doing. I mean, it's going to be worth it for us. Like, it's going to look really cool, and yeah. it'll sound sick. We're doing it at Rain City Recordings, which is a dope local studio in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. um, there's been some live shows there that have been really cool. Uh, some of you have probably seen the... Fit for an autopsy one that was done there, the live at Rain City. Yeah. There's been Baptist, Comeback Kid, and then one of my favorites is the Misery Signals one. The Misery Signals one is super cool. If you haven't seen any of those, you should check those out. But yeah, we're doing that in the same place, and it's also going to be like kind of stylized as well. Like yeah, we discussed, well, like some visual ideas for the I video. Mean, well, I guess we'll find out when we actually do it, but I know we had discussed some ideas on like. The kind of aesthetic we were looking for. They, I mean, I guess it's probably not that surprising now that you guys are familiar with our branding and our image, but I'm trying to see if the videographers will do it up so that basically everything is black and white except for 
things that are yellow. So basically like, you know, if our track suits, for example, have like the yellow emblem on the back, my guitar is yellow. I think some parts of Travis's stuff is maybe yellow. Regardless, basically like we want to make it so it's all black, white, and yellow. Uh, because that would just match our aesthetic really cool and you know just make it stand out a little bit a little bit tiny bit different than you know the, the average um, live stream show thing just to give it a, a little bit of an edge yeah and yeah just make it a little more us if you will was it Sin City where everything was in black and white yeah, except exactly. for blood the, yeah I don't remember there was like I think in each movie there was just like one color it was usually their eye color I think right something like that or maybe it was blood or maybe it was both of those things but yeah it's kind of like that it's definitely like a uh, it's not like something that's never been done before but in the context of a live show i don't think i've ever seen a band do this to my knowledge so yeah it's something it's probably been done and everyone's going to tell us that it's been done <laughs> probably but but it'll be it'll that. be cool I, yeah, I think it's it'll it'll be a cool thing to yeah. have. We're not going to say what songs we're doing yet, just to make everybody wait. Yeah. But at the same time, too, we might there's a potential to add songs as well. Yeah. Maybe if anything, one more song. Yeah. But uh, we're keeping it we'll a see. little tight to start with because again, we're filming this on May May seventh, and right now it's March eighteenth or nineteenth. So we only have, you know, a month and a couple weeks, so we don't have too much time. So we're just really focusing on making sure we have at least three songs that are super tight and good. Uh, and then if we're feeling confident in those three, then, you know, we might add a fourth. But yeah, definitely don't expect it to be like the full EP front to back or something like that, because that's not going to be the case. We've never practiced before and we would much rather give you guys less songs that are done well rather than having like a super sloppy 15 minute set where there are like a bunch of mistakes or something like that. I'm fucking hoping we can do we, songs that we're doing, we have decided on well. Yeah, you know, sure like practice them like really well and all that kind of stuff, yeah. but yeah, we'll see. And even like vocally too, there's some parts where like, I mean, uh, to an extent I wrote the vocals so that I could do them live, but there's some really hard parts. Yeah, like all the, the fast parts in Vance Block or whatever. Yeah, the fast parts are always kind of the hard ones um, to like match tonally yeah. and then switch into like from doing highs and then like going into a low. It's like that's not really easy to do, especially live. Yeah. But like this live situation is definitely going to be a little bit more different considering it's not like we are performing but it's not like i have to go fucking ball to the walls crazy as most people obviously haven't seen our previous band play live but like you know we are we try to perform the songs to our best of ability to the best of our ability but more importantly than that we usually care about putting on an entertaining show so for example like i don't know if this might sound like a cop out but i know for a fact i definitely fuck up a lot of guitar parts live but it's because i'm like spin kicking Johnny in the back and like pushing him off the like I don't know we're kind of just going crazy and like just really trying to you know put on an entertaining show because I don't know about you guys but like there's some bands who I've seen who are some mind you I love their music but you know I don't really like going to see a band and having them all stand like 100% still on stage and do every note perfectly because I don't really find that interesting I'm like well I would rather just go home and listen to the album Whereas going to see, a, like, I guess it's more of, like, a hardcore thing, but, like, seeing, like, you know, like, Knocked Loose or something, like, they definitely don't play that shit perfectly, but you will never forget that show because crazy shit's gonna happen. Yeah, we're, we're in the entertainment industry, so it's kind of nice to be able to, like, legitimately entertain people. That was kind of the goal, especially with GP is, like... I mean, fuck, we were some pretty wacky looking dudes on stage. <laughs> like, we would wear dumb shit yeah, at festivals. Well, now and, we're like, wearing matching four piece tracksuits. Yeah, so times, not... times have changed. But I just remember, like, when I played bass in GP, oh, yeah. like, we did not give a fuck. We, we used were... to beat the shit out of each other yeah. relentlessly. But, like, with, like I was saying, with this situation, it's being professionally recorded and we genuinely, like, care about the quality of the audio yeah so we can't really like it's well, it not going to be spin kicking obviously also it just doesn't make sense to do that because like a lot of that really relies on feeding on the audience and like in this case it's just us in a room so it's it would be way harder to like you know act as if we're in front of a big crowd so yeah and i don't know, really think we're gonna that's go hard but like we're definitely in this instance more focused on doing it like 
playing the audio as close to perfectly as possible while you know still giving a good show and it, it'll be a different kind of hard yeah it's gonna be weird yeah. i've never played it to an audience of no one before although some gp shows were almost that let's be honest yeah fair yeah we've played <laughs> to a lot of a lot of no one so we'll see you at the place <laughs> What do you want? What do you want to know? This camera. What are we trying to know? Like, so oh, tell us, fuck. tell us about the the backtrack hoop. Okay. I want to know about it. So right now, this is our bassist. For those who don't know, our bassist is this 2011 MacBook Pro right here. He's our star member. What can I say? I mean, <laughs> we love him. He's the old, old reliable. Hasn't messed up in the middle of our sets before. <laughs> or fallen. Ever. He has only um, ever fucked up in the middle of our set. We got some MIDI changes. We got some complicated stuff going on here, but basically we got, you know, all the all the bass, all the effects, the choir, orchestra, all that stuff is coming out. These speakers from here, and that's how we do our thing. So basically, what we have going on for the audio tracks themselves is it's a left and right mono split. And uh, the other, the right track, I believe, is sending the actual back track to the speakers themselves as a mono send. The other one is going to Travis <laughs> with a click track. And Travis, what do you like in your mix for uh, our click? Just the album scratch track with no drums and a click. Yeah, he likes the click about as humanly loud as possible. That's to a drummer thing, my guy. It's incredibly loud. Uh, so yeah, it's a little janky. It's uh, not the best way to do it, but it gets the job done. Hey, at least we're not that band showing up to the to the club with fucking like full like in ear phone mix rig, right? right? I wish we I mean, were that I band. Really. I, I wish poor. I fucking <laughs> I wish we I were that band. I just want to feel better about being poor. Scattered all, all the across room. the room. Cooper takes up a large footprint. Yeah. Do you want to talk about your drums at all? Do you want to hear about my drums? Sure, about? buddy. We got drums. They're uh, they're round, mostly. This one's not as round. This one's smaller. It's got the buzz wires on it. You know. I don't know, man. Nobody cares about drums. Well, I'm asking you to tell us. So tell us. Okay. Tamastar Walnut, Net Titanium, Sabian HHX, and accessories. <laughs> There's your there's as much drum stuff as people care about. Cool. I'm sure all the drummers in the fan page will really appreciate like, go, go the, the extent of detail you, know, you went if into. If they want it, they can go to my Instagram. At, oh wow, sick plug. Travis.r.drummer. Oh yeah, um, everybody do that. But yeah, this place is uh, pretty cool. This is Travis's jam spot. It's uh, in the middle of nowhere. Um, there's horse stables and poo poo everywhere. But uh, did you say Nickelback used to practice here? So okay, no, that wasn't true. Uh, Nickelback, ha I don't know if they actually ever jammed here, but the owner of the property fixes buses. So they, he worked on their tour bus. So they have been here. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they've, they've been, been here once? No, a few times. Like he was the mechanic. <laughs> Man, those stories that is so wow. much more impressive the first time. Well, okay, no, that's us. because the guy that told it to us got it wrong. But Darby Mills and the Headpins used to practice here, and apparently that's a relevant band. And if Darby Mills sees that, yeah, I Darby apologize Mills for saying apparently pins. irrelevant. Darby fucking Mills and the Headpins. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.